Hello people, it's Joe from JP Gaming Channel with episode 5, no, episode 6, my dad, of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. So anyway, we finally made it into the Blue Mountain foothills, and this episode I believe we will be in the Blue Mountains discovering dwarven stuff and you know, that kind of stuff. So I believe we're going to be killing these cows over here for some food loot. Because that lettuce wheel and maggoty bread have not been satisfying us. It's not going to last much longer. We need some raw meat. We like it raw and wriggling. Who's calling? Oh well. I think it redirected to someone else. So anyway, this video won't be as long as the last one. I believe it's only like 22 minutes long. So right here, I believe we're going to be crafting... What are we crafting? Oh, we're crafting a saddle for future use. Because I don't know what to... Because we're going to need some form of transportation eventually. Like, usually, we're basically aiming for a boar, which is basically the pigs in Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. Well, it replaces pigs in most biomes, I believe. I think there still are pigs in, maybe in, like, the Shire, because, you know, the Shire, because hobbits like their pigs and stuff, so. Yeah. We sh I believe we might need some new armor. I don't remember, but anyway, we're going to power through these this small biome surrounding the Blue Mountains, so we can finally make some progress for once in our life. Right, guys? Right. My my, my dog's groaning in my lap right now. So anyway, here we are. Looking over the map a little bit right there, but you know. So we're gonna climb up this hill a little bit, and I believe we'll be in sight of the Blue Mountains pretty soon. Am I lagging here, or did I just stop? I'm not lagging. I can see that because the hunger bar is jiggling. I think I was setting my timer. Yeah, I was setting my timer. Yeah. So I F3 day there. And no, we actually have ways to go t to get to the mountains. It's only like a few hundred, four hundred blocks away. That's not bad. I mean, we traveled thousands of blocks just to get we where we are right now. So that's pretty nifty. Some motivation right there. So yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Taking some fall damage. So this video shouldn't be as fast as the other one because I'm processing the other video, the, vid what, the first video of this kind of stuff. So yeah. I didn't want these videos done and processed, because I'm not dealing with this crap anymore. I mean, this video will be much easier to process, because I didn't cut during it. So, I think I'm ranting on about how circular that egg shape that hill was. Too, it was, like, too good to be true for it to be, like, that perfectly egg-shaped or something, or rounded off, so... So we're halfway to through the um what's it called the uh um um um, 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 um foothills okay brain fart right there you can tell on the mini map because it was like five thousand four hundred and I think what we're ranting on right now is like how we're gonna get some extra alignment when we come back through here it's because. I believe there's good bad orcs in Linden. 
but who knows? And it, which and Linden is like west of the Mid Blue Mountains, so that's a thing. So we're gonna power through again, looking up at the stars, look again a few more frames, and I believe we make a checkpoint or something. No, that's that's a little while. So that's right there. That blue rock right there is the rock of the blue mountains. Sorry, you win. Saluin, Saluin. I don't, I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's, it's a thing. It's a pretty nice looking rock too when you, when like used in building, because you'll see that pretty soon. So I believe I set up base right here. And hi there. Now, I do not recognize the. Um, Dave's the weak start in Tol in Middle Earth. I just don't do not understand it whatsoever. So, and I actually made a second crafting table. So, yeah, just making basic Minecraft station area thing with the furnace and the. So, and just organizing my inventory, so what to talk about? What to talk about? Hmm. Let me think. It's October, so Halloween, it's like midway through October, so Halloween's coming up. I don't think I'll be dressing up for getting the cop buying the costume for that because that's just kind of a waste of money. I haven't done Halloween in a couple of years. Um yeah you know you get the basic idea. So it's still in the morning. Waiting for some beef to cook up. Yeah, I think that, that sun's moving pretty fast if you look at it closely enough. And if you, 100, like 100 more blocks, we should be in the Blue Mountains. I stand corrected. We see it already. Well then. Now, next step is finding a way into the mountains. I think I saw like a dwarven house if you look back carefully enough. I'm not sure. I didn't pay any real attention to it. There's a bunch of caves on the side of the mountain anyway so I probably paid no attention to it. And if I noticed that I probably didn't really pay attention because there's caves everywhere here. If you look. Because there's cave there, cave there, cave there, you know. That kind of stuff. So, instead of just walking around the high places of the mountains here, I just kind of go right at the mountain. If you look down south enough, you know, there's kind of an open area there, but I'm not walking that much. That's kind of a long walk, and I mean, we're not just going, th just walking through all that. Um... So I think I'll skip ahead to when I start going up the mountain, just to save you guys time. So yeah. Don't know what I'm doing here, I'm getting a little OCD about stuff. Yeah, I think I'll skip ahead a little bit. I'll skip ahead a little bit more and a little more. I'll stop skipping here. Alright. So there's a nice valley right there right across the mountain. And that's, I believe we set a base there so that's kind of nifty. So we're halfway through the video. So anyway. 
just mine too the rock. I think I, at one point I just got tired of just dig staircasing and just dug up. I think it might be here or somewhere. Yeah, right here. So I'll we'll just climb up. Now, break the stone and snow. We finally made it on top of the mountain. It took us like a quarter of the video, but we did it. Who cares, you know? I mean, we traveled thousands of blocks to get here. I don't care at this point. So, nice little valley that's not rendering in for us. I believe I'm losing. Don't get. I'm not getting as many frames as used used to, like an ear door, but that's a chunk glitch right there. I just walk around that, I believe. And I think I do look to see if there were any good ores that I could see. Yeah, I think it's all coal and stuff. So, yeah. I tried FDAing it to see if it will load in, but it doesn't seem like it's going to. So pretty soon we'll f see or find our first uh, dwarven, blue dwarven house. So anyway. Yeah, let's just pause just to look at the map quickly. Um, Yeah, I probably, it probably would have been faster if I were to travel through down here. Because cause usually the higher elevations have the snow like you see here. I apparently chose the thickest area of elevation to go through. So I mean, it probably would have been for the best if I went through the tiny area. So I just make a simple little hut here. Just for the heck of it, in case I need um, some place to hide from Goon the Bad Orcs. You know, I'm not sure entirely sure if Goon the Bad Orcs spawn in the Blue Mountains, but I did it anyway. Just in case, you never know. So I believe I just get some wood here. Yeah, I just get some wood. Now, since it's getting nighttime, we should be seeing our first um, dwarven house because you can tell when there's a dwarven house when there's a a tunnel inside of a mountain and b you can see there's a light coming off the invisible door because if you don't know from Tolkien lore um, dwarven doors are invisible unless to with, with the exception of the, um, the light from the moon because that's a Hobbit reference and stuff. Well, not only the Hobbit, I mean, um, in Lord of Rings, um, Fellowship of the Ring too. so, it's a Moria. But anyway, trying to lower my frames, won't let me lower my render distance to get more frames. So I don't think I did anything too interesting except the dwarven house and sh finally getting in here. Let's see if we can spot it early. I don't think we will. Yep, you see two on screen right now. You see right in the side of the mountain. So I think it's a little difficult getting up there, just, I think I just mined out a few blocks, but nothing too crazy. So I'm, I've basically been skipping the, through the video because I've been running out of stuff to talk about, you know? So, you know, I want to ask you guys, why, I would like to see more feedback from you guys because, I mean, we, we want to see what you guys think about any, anything we do. Nothing scumbaggy like no one gives a crap you piece of S. I saw that once, but 
here's that's the dwarven door so anyway it's pretty cool looking so you can only see it at night with that texture and it's a female dwarf dwarven women yay can you spot the difference <laughs> Now, dwarven, these dwarven houses are really good for food and stuff. So, I only have a few minutes of this episode left anyway, so... I'll just let it run. Ugh. So, that's the bedroom, I guess. With the little dwarf pickaxe, dwarven pickaxe on the bed. I mean, I think the mod makers actually ma wants to make a dwarf, blue dwarven bed. Because that's the Iron Hills. Um, bed basically. So that's the blue dwarven cla crafting table. That's pretty. It's well, kind of cool looking, I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to find stuff to talk about. And, and, and barrels, barrels. What are you doing here, barrels? I saw you. That means they're danger belt. I know what you're up to, barrels. I know what you're up to. Don't hide your... Yeah. Your... Um... Uh... English. Don't hide your guilt behind a mask of innocence. So yeah. This is a good place to get some food. And that barrel that I just collected will be used later. If it doesn't betray me. Like it has PewDiePie. So I just take check mark well bookmark um checkpointed um waypointed that's the word I'm looking for waypointed the house and I think we find four t houses in total maybe five but not in this episode obviously this episode's almost over it's like two minutes a minute two minutes left on it. So anyway, it's still nighttime. We can still find that second house. Won't be too difficult. Right, right there. You can see it by the light. I've been losing frames like crazy in the mountains for some reason. So here we go. More food loot. Got some steak, gammon. I waypointed this house too. Joe, why aren't you? Okay. Ooh, that guy has an awesome gray beard. You need to work on that beard. How dare you! How dare you? I'm Italian. I've been grown out mustache since I was in sixth grade. Can't you see? Oh wait, wait. My face is behind a mask. That might explain it. So I just go and temper tantrum, throw plates at the wall, and that's the bedroom. I think it can vary sometimes where the um the pantry is with the bedroom. I don't remember, but I don't know why I collect that one. I already had one barrels. What are you doing here? okay, so we got more food, some cooked fish. don't know why but look at you barrels. you have some ale in you. I don't know what you think you're doing, but you're doing something you have something plant. I know it. So this episode's over. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all have enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And with that, I'll see you dudes in the next video. Peace out.